The power of praise. We're talking about praise because the Bible tells us in Psalm 22 verse 3 that God inhabits in the praise of the people. That means God's presence is there. So most of the time we ignore the fact that God is, God is there as we are praising him. God perfect our praise. He said in Matthew 21 verse 16, unto babes he has perfected praise. Brethren, there is strength in praise. There is strength in praise. But most of the time we look at it that, oh, what are we doing? The truth of the matter is we need to have an understanding of what that praise is to us. Praise is where God lives, like we said. Praise what? Is where God lives. The Bible tells us in Psalm 14 verse 1, it says that he is great and greatly to be praised. This settles one of the vast mysteries which accompany praise. Why is it that when we praise the Lord, things change so rapidly? When we praise the Lord. Why does healing come on wings of praise? Why do human emotions undergo such transition when praise is the choice? Brethren, praise is where God lives. Is at home in praise. And being at our home, he manifests himself as the best as God could be. When you and I choose God through our praise, we invite him to our midst in our home. You need to praise God. Spend more time in praising him. Praise him. Praise with thanksgiving is the only access into the presence of God. Say, so enter his gates with thanksgiving and is called with praise. Praise is a dividend which God receives as a result of delivering and blessing us. It's a dividend. Praise is a weapon against our enemies. Psalm 8 verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes are suckling as thou hast been strength because of the enemies. That thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. With your praise today, God will still your enemy and the avenger in the name of Jesus.